Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on Microsoft Windows Desktop and Server. So here we are, this is wordpress.org. So simply go ahead and launch your preferred browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome and go to wordpress.org. Now once you are here, go to get WordPress, click on here, get WordPress. And now you can download WordPress 5.3, which is the latest version at this moment. So anytime you visit this page, you will always get the latest version of WordPress and so go ahead and click download and this is going to start the download okay but before we start installing WordPress there are a few requirements that we need to meet in order to install WordPress on Windows or Mac or Linux so here we are we need to have PHP okay so 7.3 and above mysql or mariadb and we also need apache or nginx server so in case if you already have everything then you can go ahead and skip the video i'll show you how to install it so probably uh last five minutes so then go ahead and start from there if you do not have any of these you can go ahead and install one by one like PHP, MariaDB or MySQL, Apache or Nginx. However, for this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to recommend go ahead and install everything with one package that's called XAMPP and it's freely available for Windows, Linux and Mac. So this is going to give you Apache, MariaDB as a database and PHP, My, PHP and PHP My admin so we will talk about phpmy admin later on now go ahead and download for your operating system so go ahead and click download so it's available at apachefriends.org simply go ahead and type this url in your url bar so apachefriends.org slash download download dot html now once you're here you can see this is for windows 64 bit PHP 7.2, 7.3, 7.4. So I'm going to download the 7.4 for Microsoft Windows. So hit on it and this will open a new page. So if you're using Linux, go ahead and download and install for Mac OS as well. So once it's downloaded, what I'm going to do, I've already downloaded them. So I'm going to cancel the download and i've downloaded them in downloads folder so wherever you are saving these packages go ahead and open that particular folder it could be desktop downloads whatever it is so you can see i've downloaded two wordpress so i'm going to delete one and then i've got xm for windows 64 bit with php 7.4 so now we need to go ahead and install xm first so go ahead and double click on it or right click and then open so now as soon as you double click or right click on and open you will get a user account control say yes so this is going to start the installation process now here here is how you can start the installation process by pressing okay so here is the warning it requires your permission so simply say okay and this is going to start the bitnami xmp installation say next on this select components i'm going to deselect few of them so i do not require tomcat mercury mail server filezilla i will need the mysql and apache i also would not require perl php my admin is required I do not need Weblizer, Fix and Mail. So just customize it for your requirement and then hit. This is for WordPress, so PHP, MySQL and Apache. So we've got PHP My Admin. This is basically a graphical inter user interface to manage our database. Now hit Next. 
and this is where it's going to be installed you can customize it by clicking on there otherwise simply say next uh, so on my system is not empty so what I'm going to do I'm going to delete the previous folder here so in case if you have something like this you can go ahead and delete it this was previously installed on my system so I just deleted that and this is where I want my XM to be installed so I'm going to say next I'm going to uncheck this and hit next again next this will start the installation process it's going to take a minute or two in the meanwhile what we need to do we need to go ahead and unzip this uh, WordPress package so go ahead and right click on it and simply say extract all and this is where I want this to be so simply say extract in the same folder now let it be doing whatever it's doing and now here you can see it's gonna take a minute or two so once the installation is about to finish I'll go right back all right folks so you can see I have already successfully extracted the WordPress and the XM installation is almost over now you can see so you can see it says finish now this says do you want to start the control panel now do not uncheck it now say finish and this is going to start the control panel but this also let us uh, select the language so go ahead and select this for English and hit save and now you will get this control panel there's one more thing you will get you'll get to user account control simply say allow access allow access if you haven't installed XM previously on your system if you're installing it for the first time you will get those two windows so simply say allow access allow access now on here you can simply say start Apache start MySQL and now you can go ahead and close it I'm going to start the uh, switch over to what sorry the Chrome browser and if I go ahead and visit localhost I will be able to verify that I have my XMP is working perfectly fine I can also go ahead and check the PHP so I've got PHP version 7.4.1 and other things if you need to check I've also got PHP my admin so here we can see and this is where you can manage your database so simply visit localhost slash php my admin one word you can see it here so localhost slash php my admin and you will be landing on this php my admin to manage your database to create or delete whatever you want to do so now what we need to do we simply get into this downloads button we already have extracted this wordpress compressed zipped folder now go ahead and double click the extracted folder and here we have wordpress going to put it on the right of the screen and just open it like that now what we need to go ahead and do we need to go ahead and locate the xm installation folder so uh, launch your file explorer i just pressed windows key and letter e you can see it here and this opens the file explorer and then go to this pc and my xm is installed in this c drive so double click on it open it go to xm and then locate hdocs i've got hdocs here within this folder we need to put these files and folders okay so you can simply drag this whole folder in here or you can create a new folder like that name whatever you want I'm going to say WP and then open it just drag everything from this WordPress extracted folder over to this newly created folder in HDDocs so I've got everything here 
I can go ahead and close them. Now to install it we need to visit this folder uh, in the browser. So simply go ahead and say localhost slash wp in my case that's the folder name whatever folder name you have given just type the same name hit enter and this is going to start the installation process so here we are it's not loading on my system y so i'm going to say it again localhost slash wp hit enter okay here we go something was happening behind the scene so we need database name a username for the database database password uh, database host and table prefix so we need to go ahead and create a database to create a database you simply visit localhost like that localhost slash php my admin hit enter and that's where you need to be to create a database hit new and name whatever you want i'm going to say wp53 uh, and, and this is completely optional i'm going to say collation and hit create so you can see database has been created so when we install xm the username is already created that's root r o o t with no password so we have our database name wp53 username root no password localist localhost is going to be the host name prefix we can give whatever you want so wp oops, wp53 uh, root is going to be the user no password database host is going to be localhost and this can be given whatever you want to say so wp53 that's going to be uh, prefix in my case you can give whatever you want now hit submit run installation and this is going to install your wordpress name uh, the site name admin that's the username name whatever you want uh, it's not recommended for your website so confirm the weak password i'm going to keep admin as a password uh, admin.com that's email address hit install wordpress you can discourage search engine if you're install it, installing it on server like not locally on the web so here we are and installation is done has been installed thank you and enjoy now hit login enter your username and password uh, if you want to be remembered just check this box and hit login now as soon as you install it you can see your database will have lots of tables here okay so you can go ahead and check uh, what a post has what a user a user has so that's perfectly fine now you can see this is a dashboard area generally what you do you simply go to uh, if if you have to log in for the next time so what you say localhost slash folder name whatever it is and then you say wp hyphen admin and you will get the login page since i checked that remember me box it just got me in the dashboard area so this is wordpress dashboard area and this is how you install wordpress locally on your windows desktop or server you can click here put your cursor here and visit the website like that so this is 2020 theme wordpress 2020 theme and it's awesome stuff so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions, suggestion, confusion, please leave in the comment below. I will try to answer it ASAP. Thanks again. Bye.